Hey everyone and welcome to VFXY once again. So today's video is going to be a very informative and very technical video in which we are going to see how we can use UV projection to clean up our shots. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so here uh, we have shot in which you can see our camera is moving and uh, it's handheld, pretty handheld. And what our requirement is, our, requir our requirement is to clean this patch or might be this crack or anything might be these stones on uh, road I want to clean. Requirement could be anything. So what I want to do, I want to do cleanup. But as you can see here, we have some perspective going on. And if there is perspective going on, so it's not easy to paint in perspective especially any kind of pattern is going on suppose that if there is a brick pattern then the situation will be more complicated so uh, although i don't have any brick pattern over here but in case you have brick pattern or some sort of any tile pattern then the perspective painting is bit complicated so in that case what we can do we can use the uv projection technique just to do our painting and all so how we can do that let's see so here i have my uh, scene or i have my shot and i have my camera track so i am not going to waste time on camera tracking because already I made plenty of videos on camera tracking you can go in can watch so what we need to do why I need to take a node called scan line render yes I can take scan line render and camera should be one and before scan line or after scan line you can say what I can take I can take a node called card right and I need to align my card according to my point cloud right so i'm going to put one over here and easily i can rotate it in minus 90 degree axis and keep it in mind you need to place your card at that particular place where you want to paint right or you want to clean so what i'm going to do i'm going to scale it a little might be i can connect it to scene so that i can see where my uh, point clouds are and definitely i can two over here just to see my point clouds as well and my card as well right something like that and i can place my card i know at this place or the point cloud over here are the place where i want to paint and probably i can scale it little scale it in um, y-axis might be as per my requirement something like that and probably little in x-axis as well something like that and i can place it as per my requirement right now the main trick is what we can do we can take a node called project 3d and after taking project 3d i can place my project 3d over here so camera will be this right camera will be this let me arrange my file and my project uh, file will be uh, my main file right and i can connect my card over here simple so what will happen this particular plate is going to project on this thing right but in scanline 3d but in scanline 3d what i'm going to do see here is the trick in scanline 3d i'm going to use projection mode uv instead of render camera so i'm going to use uv so what will happen uh, assume something like that ki this particular shot is projecting from the top right according to uv uh, basically uv is nothing but it's a 2d representation of any 3d element or any 3d mesh right uh, uh, so that we can paint texture on it so same thing it's projecting our main plate according to uv right now if i can play it and you can see it's short of a stabilized footage right so it's not moving anywhere but it's a stabilized footage we can see uh, now what else we need to do since we stabilize this so what also we need to do that we need to add that camera movement back to our main footage so that the clean plate or the cleanup we are going to do having same amount of camera motion bit confusing but let's see how we can do that 
So just I'm going to copy my card, paste it over here, and I'm going to project my UV fixed file onto card. And after that, I'm going to take scan line, render one more time. And this should be my OBJ and scene, and this should be my camera. And in this scan line, I'm going to use my projection mode to render camera, right? Simple. Now you can see again, I am having my same uh, movement, but in a cropped manner cause I am just scaling my card where I want to paint. Just simple as that, right? Now, what, what is the profit of doing all these complicated things, right? Now I can go over here, over here where I am projecting my scan plate according to UV and I'm going to hit P on keyboard and I'm going to take my roto paint node, right? So I'm going to search for a good frame where I'm having a good amount of information and I think it's frame number first. So I want to clean this. So for this, I'm going to take my clone node, right? And in clone node, I can grab my samples. And for this sake of example, I'm not going to do it in detail. I'm just going to do rough and dirty. So I can paint something like that. So I'm going to fast forward it already. I made plenty of videos and cleanup. So you can go and can check how you can do that. I'm going to fast forward it and I'll see you once it's done. Okay, I'm done with uh, painting and all and if I'm going to see my final scan render you can easily see my cleanup has been done and if I'm going to do this and easily you are getting a very good amount of cleanup we are getting right so what else we can do we can take a merge node and that will be my foreground and probably that will be my background and if I'm going to connect this easily you can see we have our clean plate ready or I, we have our cleanup ready right but the problem will be as i'm going on second number frame the cleanup won't happen why because in roto paint node you can see my clones lifetime is only for frame number first right so what else i can do i can take a node called frame hold and I'm going to connect here and frame hold should be frame number first, right? After frame hold, what I can do, I can take a roto node and I'm going to mask that area where I did my cleanups, right? So I'm going to do this precise. I'm not doing it precisely. I'm doing it very roughly. You can, you need to do it precisely as well, right? something like that and I'm going to hit E on keyboard just to feather it out somewhat something like that and I'm going to take merge node and in merge I'm going to connect over here A over here and that will be mask and if I'm going to see it I'm having my this much area and if I'm going to A over B and I'm going to play it it will play very precisely right so you need to keep it in mind that your tracking should be bang on right otherwise what will happen you are not going to have a good cleanup cause it will slide due to your tracking is not that good right so you need to take care about that your tracking should be perfect and your cleanup should be perfect otherwise what will happen it will look patchy and it will slide one more thing i would like to mention over here that you can see our patch part yeah patchwork it's not that sharp it's bit it's little uh, fudgy i'm not sure youtube how uh, youtube compression is going to work but if you want to fix it what you can do you can use your uh, filter method might be you can change one by one and sometime it works sometime it won't work but most of the time uh, your uh, smoothening or filtration uh, smoothening is going to control with the filter option. So you need to change it in both the scan lines and I think uh, things will be good. So I 
think uh, today's video is little tricky but it's a very advanced technique to do cleanup and all so i hope this video is helpful to you and if you feel that this video is helpful for you don't forget to like this video and share this video and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx5 signing off have a good day